let's welcome dr manasi uh, who's here with us today for an interview she has secured 47th rank in neet ss exam and she has taken dnbss at lakeshore hospital so many congratulations on this wonderful score and wonderful seat that you've been allotted uh, i feel very proud oh. of you and so happy for you that uh, you know all of you students are have done so well in the exam so let's hear your story dr manasi first tell me about yourself uh, where you did your pg and ug from and then we'll discuss your strategy for the exam preparation so dr manasi yes uh, so ma'am i am uh, i have done my ug from rajiv gandhi medical college which is in thane and i am basically from mumbai and my pg is from uh, esic hospital andheri mm -hmm. and uh, i did i was doing my senior residency and at that time i took this decision that i want to pursue further studies okay so uh, when did you actually start preparing for the neet ss exam so for me it is very very late because um, in november 2020 to be very specific i decided that i want to do this and the exam was in 10th of jan Okay, so two months. It was hardly two months or one and a half months time which I got to study. So that's that's such a wonderful story. Uh, let's hear from Dr. Manasi of the secret of cracking NEET SS in two months preparation. So this is very important. Uh, what all did you do in these two months, Dr. Manasi, to decide and to score and to get a seat in just two months, like achieving success in two months? so the secret of my uh, success is sitting just in front of me it is just mona man's notes nothing else so Absolutely kind nothing. of you that is so kind of you that uh, i feel so privileged to have come across students like you that made use of my notes and my video lectures and cracked the exam in two months time so proud of you dear no ma'am i owe my success to the reprogrammed classes because any other thing i i was not having that much time to read standard textbooks or to do anything else Definitely. so it is just man your notes your lectures and revision of those that's it okay wonderful so in these two months how much time did you give to each of these subjects gynecology oncology obstetrics gynecology and reproductive medicine uh, so um, the, when i decided it was already almost 15th of november and after that i took leave one and a half months leave and i studied whole day so in 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 the day one subject concentrating on one subject was difficult so i used to divide my time like in the morning i used to do uh, oncology then afternoon maybe uh, obgyn general obgyn and evening maybe reproduc uh, especially in particular in fertility notes only your notes nothing else and uh, other mcq uh, banks i had purchased i used to solve those mcqs and that so uh, the kind of preparation you have done reminds me of uh, my pre pg days we used to study so much for the pre pg entrance exams after doing post graduation to have so much motivation to sit and study for 24 hours you know at this age after 25 i think you must be more than 25 to have that kind of dedication is difficult so congratulations on being able to study for all uh, you know all day and uh, not exactly 24 hours it was like 10 to 12 hours a day 10 to 12 hours, day, 10 to 12 hours is yeah. whole day studying studying for 10 to 12 hours in a day is the maximum that you can do isn't it even in my internship days or pre pg days when we had time i wouldn't be able to make it to more than 10 hours a day so brilliant uh, you need a lot of motivation to sit for 10 hours now for an exam so uh, that's many congratulations on being able to uh, pull off all of that uh, so uh, sources tell me uh, for oncology what did you read Uh, so as i said for oncology uh, it is only your lecture series uh, and mcq bank that's it and uh, i i i had read william for general obgyn in my pg days so now for uh, obgyn i was reading sakshi arora so sakshi arora i did uh, very religiously i studied that book okay. and uh, otherwise in fertility to my only i had uh, video lectures i used to listen to those and i made my notes and then i revised those notes twice thrice or again uh, even uh, mams lectures i used to revise twice or some lectures for three times i have revised and that's it so i understand that you are a very fast reader you read two to three no. times you had time to revise in these two months so uh, that's 
of course so yeah, first, first uh, video lecture uh, like uh, listening was like on speed 1x then it used to be like 1.5x or 2x but so. still to have all of that concentration to be able to read so many times that's brilliant work you're indeed very talented dr manasi man your lectures are uh, we, we don't feel like sleeping or we don't feel like bo yes. we are bored they are so much full of knowledge that we really Had that inspiration in front of us. So I took, I think, more than a year, around one and a half to two years, to prepare the notes, which you finished like a rock star in two months. So that is wonderful. That is wonderful. Okay. I am lucky that I came across someone who could finish it in two months and get a good rank in NEET SS. So there are some, some topics I uh, could not read uh, to be very uh, okay. so rank that I could not uh, go through some topics, but. Uh, I so I uh, did. I would have. I I say I would say I I did a uh, quality study, man. So okay. whatever I am confident about, I uh, read it thoroughly, and okay. I just practiced it again and again. So okay. there are a few topics, few uh, uh, topics uh, I left. Uh, I did not study. Because in I, two months time, you have to decide what is more important. You have to be very very focused in those two months time. Yeah. to get a good and, uh, your other lectures also helped me a lot man uh, those small uh, video lectures when you told us what to study in 3 months or how to uh, yes. go through the guidelines those are amazing tips for us i okay. never got it for this and those will be helpful even in my further studies man thank you so much I for those i remember i posted that video on facebook and on the website also to help the students yes man that was very helpful so it, it is such it is such a happy feeling to be speaking with you dr manasi uh, tell me about your strategy in the exam in the exam how did you decide that which questions you will attempt and which you will not attempt how many did you attempt in all so i just uh, not unattempted questions for only two uh, okay. because uh, yeah. you also told us that attempt all the questions that uh, four and one four marks plus and one mark minus is okay to You can take those that much of the question. So yes, I answered them all. Question. Only two were answered. Only two, which you did not know anything about. You left those questions. So yes, attempt yes. maximum. And also, you should be at least able to be confident about eighty-five questions, ninety questions, so that the rest maybe you are guessing. Right. So uh, that. So yeah, I would say eighty percent, uh, like seventy-five. I was confident about less or less guesswork. You knew fifty percent of the rest of the 50, questions. Fifty percent. Yeah. you could answer brilliant and one more important question how did you decide that you're going to be doing oncology and why not reproductive medicine or fetal medicine uh it, it was just my inclination man towards oncology more than anything um I, as i said when i was doing pg there was no such plan of pursuing any higher studies but when i was doing a uh, res senior residency Uh, so uh, all my patients who were diagnosed as uh, carcinoma ovary or endometrium carcinoma i had to refer them to other higher center okay. and at that time i was really okay. not feeling good for the patients so mm -hmm. i wanted to have that expertise so i pursued wonderful this. wonderful such a nice uh, thought to help patients so you joined oncology truly to help patients to be able to treat them at your center and not to refer them that's a wonderful uh you know thought that you have feeling you have i'm sure you're going to make such a wonderful gynecologic oncologist many thank congratulations you. to you and all thank the you. best for the course yes, thank you. And i i do believe that you are extremely busy i had to pester you for this interview so many times that please give me time for this interview dr manasi so well, it, i already started with my residency now like um, yes you started so, so, so i i was so happy to know that you're so busy with your residency wonderful Uh, you know do good in life and i would also uh, like to say along with this my family and my friends supported and me a lot in this whole journey and uh, there were many days when i was having those second thoughts i would like to tell this to other uh, those who are listening that uh, always you keep getting those thoughts uh, whether i should do this or i should leave the this attempt and i'll try next time please don't do that give yes. your maximum i have give only one and a half month still i could do it still i could crack it that means anyone can crack it if that's you that's, that's an it. overstatement any yes many people can crack it if they follow the way if they the study right the guidance is necessary man the yes. right guidance and the right kind of studying that you did 10 to 12 hours for one and a half months straight and focusing on the important ones 
important topics wonderful it is also uh, i would like to say my uh, sadguru dr aniruddh joshi so his uh, uh, and uh, so his grace with his grace i could do this much Uh, it is so nice. You're such a nice, humble person. You're thanking so many people. You're thanking your friends. You're thanking your guru. Uh, it's so nice to have been, uh, you know, been able to speak with you. Uh, nice, you. nice for that. And I hope the message reaches all those people you are thanking. And uh, wonderful, wonderful uh, for this lovely result. And uh, let's let's stay in touch in the future. Thank you. Yes, definitely. right so uh, that is all the time that i need from you dr manzi you're so busy